Welcome to Danimals House everyone. Today we're going to talk a little bit about pools. I'm going to let you know what process I'm using to keep my pool cover, my solar pool cover from blowing off as a result of the wind. Let's get going. So what we got going here is a solar pool cover is, is a must have in my opinion. Uh, you lose so much heat energy off the surface of water that if you don't have some kind of cover on there keeping the wind from blowing your heat energy off of the top, you're gonna have a hard time keeping your pool temperature up or you're gonna be wasting money if you're using a heater. So the solar cover is an absolute must. Trouble is, is we get a west, if we get a west wind, the wind hits the side of the home, the home and it like picks up speed. So you get a 15 mile an hour west wind, it's like going 25-ish miles per hour when it comes off of that corner of the house. So the problem was, is that darn cover, I mean, it would work, it'd be fine, it would stay, we'd put some water on there, and all of a sudden you're like gone, you get a little storm, before I know it, the cover is laying out in the yard somewhere. And then we got this real situation here, and the reel does a really nice job of kind of holding it in place and allowing you to roll it up quickly. But as soon as you got a wind gust and a little bit, I mean, I don't know if how many of you guys had like parachute stuff in elementary school. At our school, we had like a little parachute thing that we had. As soon as you get any air underneath here, now this whole thing is acting like a wind catch and a parachute. And so once you compromise even one little corner of this thing, it's like a chain reaction and you know, a half hour later, the thing is uh, ripping apart because it's pulling on the cables or you know, the straps that are in the middle. So I wanna go through the best idea I could come up with for preventing that from happening and saving my investment out here on this pool. All right, so uh, as I was thinking through what we were gonna do here, I really struggled with how you're gonna keep this, um, this thin piece of plastic that is in water and you know it's down here it's not like you can just run a screw into the side of your your pool wall because obviously you'll be leaking water all over the place so it's kind of like down here I mean I can't attach it up there because now I'm just going to have a wind catch I needed that to stay down and then also the water of the uh, the level of the water changes you know you get an inch of rain your water level rises you like vacuum or if you backwash through the sand filter, now your water level is going down or if the sun is shining, it's evaporating over time, you're losing a little bit of water. So you've got a lot of moving circumstances here. And so it didn't really need to be very strong, I didn't think, but I had to have some way to try to hold that thing in place. And my experience with it is once it gets out of place, then the wind's got it. But if you can try to hold it in place, it barely takes any energy to hold it there. But as long as it's held, it stays. And as soon as it's compromised, it's gone. So what I came up with was I bought these fishing lead balls. Okay, so these are coated two pound lead fishing weights. These are meant for like fishing sturgeon or like deep sea fishing and they were meant for the water. Lead's not going to rust and they're made for the water. They're already coated. Whatever is on here that I was going to hang, I had to make sure it wasn't going to eat a hole into my liner. And so it's got a nice soft protective coating on here. Then what I did is I bought some coated cable, stainless steel coated cable, so it's not going to rust. And then I got these lead compression fittings, which again, lead is not going to rust. So I put those on there. I crimped them and then I made a little loop under here uh, and so basically you've got steel underneath these little covers. And so I just took a fender washer and I ran a self-tapping screw in there and that caught that loop. And then this weight holds down and it keeps this little, uh, cable thing taut. All right. So I've got these placed all around. I've got six of them. You could put them at every single one. Six of them has been perfect for me. So then the next step that I did is at any hardware store, you can buy tarp, uh, what are they called? Like tarp eyelets or tarp holders. 
Uh, they also could be called tent holders. And essentially all they are is they're a little pin that pokes through plastic and you push it real tight or you screw it real tight and it locks in place. And it's basically just like a grab to hold a tarp or in this case, a pool cover. Okay, so then that got me a good hold on here. And then I bought a stainless steel carabiner and essentially this stainless steel carabiner, which will not rust, I just put on like this and now I can go up and down without any issue. I can go left and right a little bit without tearing anything. And the whole cover stays in place even in the strongest winds, all right? So as it turns out, this, this idea works awesome. Uh, it's not a huge distraction. You know, if you're, if you're swimming and you happen to run into them, you're not gonna cut yourself. You're not, you know, it's not really a hazard. It's kind of out of the way. You can barely notice it. If you're not looking for it, you don't even know those things are there. And I think it was something like maybe 30 bucks for two of these lead balls. And so I bought six of them. Uh, you know, the whole thing probably cost me 150 bucks between the cable and the, cr the crimpers and the weighted balls. But one of these pool covers that rips off my straps and I lose uh, because of the wind, one of those pool covers is probably 250 for a 21 foot pool. Plus it's just really annoying when you get that thing blowing onto the grass and you got grass clippings all over your pool cover. So anyway, I hope this helps somebody. I couldn't find any ideas for this out on YouTube. I couldn't find any pool company that had a solution for losing your solar cover in the wind. And so, you know, if this works for you guys, that's great, but uh, it definitely works for me. I really like the way it works and I don't think it's gonna rust. I don't think I'm gonna have any problems using it year after year. So everyone, if you liked the episode, please click for me. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Otherwise I'll see you on the next episode of Danimal's House.